Pay attention to how cold the world is, how cold the game is. Charleston White speaking the same spiel he's been speaking since he's been in this game. He ain't stopped yet. One thing you can't take away from Charleston White, he's standing on that message that he started with. You know what I'm saying? Now, he have done much disrespect. He done got out the way of, uh, just like LBG Doug Mama, he disrespected her, disrespected King Von Mama, but he got a reason behind what he's saying. But in this interview that you got, DJ, you ask Charles and White a question, then he jump up with the pistol, say what he gonna say, do how it is. You know what I'm saying? It got a lot of people, a lot of real that's been caused with Chicago. Cause they feel like DJ, you supposed to react in a certain type of way. But at the same time, you gotta look at this right here. They was in the state of Texas. DJ, you wasn't gonna make it back home if he did anything got the way toward Charles and White. And that's the whole idea. When I bring me, my homeboys with me, we, we came together, we leaving together. That's the whole objective, to make it back home. And then you trying to tell this man he's supposed to crash out over something that Charles and White has said over a thousand times. Every interview, even on his own page, when he get on there just talking, he's saying everything that he just said. So if you want to go with him, go with him. But why is DJ you being dragged into this situation when all he doing is interviewing this person, man? Then you look at WAC 100, Mimo 600 that came together after beefing a couple months ago. WAC 100 just know how to play these streets. Think about this man jumping in Chicago business when if you try to jump in California business, politics as they call it, they let you know, man, you don't have no room to speak on nothing. So why don't the same rules apply here? They just show you how these people like Mimo 600, different folks like that, how they let folks play with their mind, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta move. You got to move with honor, man. You got to move with integrity, man. You got to move with respect at all times, man. You know what I'm saying? And Charles and White, he doing what he doing, but, man, you don't have to indulge in what he got going on, man, because what he's saying one way or another ain't changing in a person, individual life. You know what I'm saying? He let you know he going to snitch on you. He letting you know everything he stand for, so the best thing you do, if you ain't with it, stay out his way. But you better pay attention, whack 100. Got his own motivation behind the things he doing, the things he saying. Charles and White humiliated him. They had back and forth. They went at each other. What Charles and White was talking about how they were doing with uh, Nipsey Hussle and stuff like that, how they were trying to extort the man and all this and this. So you better pay attention to the game, man. It's cold now. And then you got Mimo 600 stepping in, which he's speaking on the disrespect part of the mother, which I can respect that part. But at the same time, man, Chicago uh, kids, Chicago shooters, goons, whoever it, it may be, don't fall for it, man. Because the persons who telling you to get out here and do this and that, they're not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes a person needs to put in their own work. Yeah, you got to pay attention to what's going on because, see, when you take a life, most of the time, your life gone as well, whether it's to the system or to the gun. So, man, we just need to wake up and stay focused, man. Stand our ground in the right positive direction. Do what's right by our family, man, by our kids. You know what I'm saying? Show that you worthy to God, man. You ain't getting no reward with these streets, man. Get your rank with God, man. Level up with God. And watch how far he take you, man. Because, see, a situation like this where, you know what I'm saying, a person that just did an interview with Charles and White got to worry about when he go back home, is his life in danger. He got to worry about if he hop out his car, is somebody going to be waiting on him, this, that, and the other. Man, it's not that serious, man. And he didn't speak those words out of his mouth. He got up. He told the man, hold up, calm down. Hey, that's out. But, see, they just show you, man, our people's mind is so corrupted. Uh, we focus on the negative stuff. Just like with Charles and White, he's saying negative and positive. What's making a person latch on so much to the negative than the positive? Why are there more numbers of masses of people that's latching on to what's going on in the positive light and speaking on it? You could have shouted out the negative out if you focused on the positive, but we got it in the reverse. Sometimes you gotta look in that mirror, man, and check your mind. It's our mindset that's killing us, man. It ain't no particular person. It ain't the conditions. It's the way we thinking. It's our mind. Whatever conditions a person is, they mind can take them up out of it. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, is the best thing you can get, man. Put God first. And remember, charity starts at home, people.